Hello Casio fans from all over the world. Today I have three reasons to be excited for and I am even more satisfied to say that the first two are for you. One, I have a new setup for my video which gives me hope that the quality will improve. Two, I will unbox the AQ230 and give a couple of details and first impression so that you can better decide before buying it. And three, I have a new watch in my Casio collection. Yeah, you guess, the 230. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. I have here my trusty cutter, the tool for spring bar, and also the AQ303, which I'm not sure why, but I keep on wearing it. Let's open this huge box. Huge box for a tiny watch. So it was 30 euros plus shipment 32 euros. Let's put my magic screwdrivers in it and open the watch. Dun, dun, dun. It says here Casio Vintage since 1974. Not sure what this stands for. And here is the model that I have AQ230E 1DM blah blah blah. And the module is 5154. Oh, 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 this is the watch. It looks smaller than my AQ303. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. It comes back in a plastic foil. It has also a tag with the model and here down in the box since also here it is the, uh, the instructions for the module and for the watch. Okay, I will put it next to my AQ303 to see the differences. I will also tear off the foil, put it again in the box. Or throw it away, doesn't matter. And here we can see that the watch itself is smaller than the AQ303. Hmm. The length of the bracelets are the same. So uh, the lock to lock more or less looks the same at first glance, but the, the case itself is smaller. Ooh, I will bring the caliper so that we can see how much smaller it is but before doing that since the bracelets are the same I will just uh, optimize first this for my wrist I have managed to adjust the bracelet if you can see I have bent it a little this from here I am so disappointed that the case is smaller I will put it on my wrist to see how it fits and I will put also the golden one to my right hand so that you can see as a comparison Please let me know in the comments which one do you think 
looks better and for sure the new one it's more shinier looks better I have them in parallel so I will try to measure them without taking them from the table so this comes with the case width of 30 millimeters and the other one without the buttons and the other one comes with a width of 32 millimeters so this 2 millimeter makes a lot of difference and the lug to lug uh, the yellow one is 37 and I would say also 37 for the silver one in regards the height of the case 9 millimeters and the other one again 9 millimeters I have chosen the black display the black dial in my opinion it goes better with the silver color of the bracelet and also the case the case itself is from resin and on the back we have here the same closing mechanism as the 303 uh, it is made in Japan with uh, China casing and the, the module is also uh, written as difference to the other one on this side we have here uh, the button the pusher that will help us adjust the time so by long pressing it yeah by long pressing it the hands move towards to the desired time and in my case it's seven and six minutes it has also some kind of uh, edges here so that you do not press the pusher by mistake yeah okay now let's see how the digital display works the top pusher okay it's the 30th of march friday which is not true okay long pressing it the but below the button pusher will go into the setup mode it's march indeed then the alarm not interested at this point and this is the dual time let's set up yeah, it's written in the corner dl i guess it stands for dual time and here we have the stopwatch stop stop so long pressing it with the reset and now we have the other time So it's the date here, I will leave it on the date, let's see if it automatically moves on the time, if not, it's good that it will remain the same, so it's, this information is good because here, not sure, but this one moves, so uh, right now you cannot see, because the display is a little damaged, anyway. We will see after a couple of minutes if it will still remain on the date or not. In regards to the bracelet, I guess it's the same bracelet as I have it for my A168. So definitely it will pinch, at least for me. If you want to adjust this, this bracelet while putting it back, it's better to press it on the sides not in the middle i have pressed it in the middle and the back of my screwdriver uh, was shifted 
towards this one and I have bended it. So do not apply that much force just to make sure that you do not damage it. As I mentioned, a little disappointed I am because the case is smaller. This is also visible as comparison with my AQ303. The length of the bracelets is the same. It's good that uh, you can leave the digital display on what uh, information you want so in, that, in my case I will leave it to the date or I could move it to the dual time or as a main time from here so you can basically set up three time zones which one you want or how you want to use it I will put it on my hand to see how it feels. Definitely, it's a, it's very. So the weight is very small. Feels good, but it's a small watch. Yeah, it is a small watch. Now that you have seen the unboxing, let me briefly attach all the characteristics of this watch. We can see in comparison with the AQ303 that it is slightly narrower, both the case and also the bracelet. In rest, all the dimensions are the same. On the right side, you can find all the specs. After wearing it for a couple of days, I can conclude that it is very light and feels great on the hand. Beside this, you can very easy match it with some shorts, and this makes it more like a dressy watch. To be honest, I really do not know if you can wear it with the suit, but the fashion is not in my expertise, therefore do as you think. If you remember, I told you that I would leave on the digital display the date, and this is not such a good idea. You tend to think that this is the time and will only mislead you. As this being said, the analog display is very sharp and normally you tend to think that it is easy to be read, but it's not the case due to the small size. And that's why the eye will try to read from the display. So it's better to leave on the time there also. To wrap up everything, I can conclude at least for the moment, that this is a small watch for a man. I wore it, and I liked it, contrary to my dislike in regards to size. Don't listen to me. If you like the watch, buy it, as I did. But if you find older ones from the second-hand market, do not hesitate and buy them. Please do not forget to subscribe and give a thumb up to my video.